Hello, welcome to our next video. Today I will show you the difference between an FC and an FB, and also a useful TIA portal add-in. I have this demo FC2 here. This FC calculates the running hours of the motor. The run pulse input has to be connected to a 1 Hz pulse signal. This can easily be made by using a clock memory. We have covered the clock memory byte in a previous video. This video will be linked on the upper right corner. The run hour input stores the operating hours of the motor. Ok, let's see what is in our FC. Note, that our secundum and minutes variables are stored in the temporary field. When storing variables in the temporary field their value is not guaranteed for the next scan cycle, thus their value will be lost. With every 1 second pulse we are incrementing our secundum variable. Once the secundum is 60, we are incrementing the minutes variable with 1 and clearing our secundum variable. Once the minutes variable also reaches the value 60, it will increment the run hour variable and also clear the minutes. I have prepared some variables for this demo. We have a machine 1 run variable, which is active when the motor is running. With an end connection we also will need the rising edge of the 1 Hz clock memory. On the other input we also have to attach the run hour of the machine. Let's download it and see what it does. Ok, it's downloaded. Start monitoring OB1. Our machine run is not enabled, but we can see the rising edges of the clock memory. Let's monitor our FC also. Set the motor running variable to true. Our run pulse input is only true for one PLC scan cycle so we can't see it, but that we should see the effect of it. We can't see our second variable increasing despite having the input true and the correct clock signal. And this is because we have declared these variables on the temporary field, and they lose their value in the next PLC cycle. In this situation the FC is not the way you should go. You have to use local static variables for these kind of tasks. The FBs can store the data in their instance data block. If memory optimization is not so important you should always use FBs. Of course it would be nicer and cleaner if you used FCs for tasks that don't require static variables. But when using FBs you can't make a mistake and lose their values. Let's create an FB. But wait, not on the regular way. Since V16 on the right side of TIA portal we have this folder, add-ins. These add-ins use the TIA portal openness function. You can also create in every net framework your own add-in. The add-ins you can see here are from the official Siemens support. You will find the link in the description. The add-ins I will use now is an FBFC converter. First I will copy and paste the FC I want to convert to not to lose the original FC. When right clicking on an FC I get this option to convert it to an FB. Only thing left is to copy and paste our temporary variables to the static field. Note, if I have not mentioned it yet, FCs does not have a static field at all.
Let's call up this FB. When making a call we have to declare an instance data block for this FB. The secundum and minutes variables will be stored in this data block. Since we did not change the inner logic we only have to copy and paste the outer logic on the inputs of the newly created function block. OK, let's download it and see if it makes any difference. Oh, our machine run bit was on, so the second counting should have already started. Let's monitor the block. Let's stop the counting by resetting the machine run. And as expected, the static variables don't lose their value, so the counting in these like functions can be easily programmed using FBs. This is I wanted to show you in this video. To summarize the things in this video. FCs should only be used for calculating something inside one PLC cycle. The inner variables of an FC are stored in the temporary field, meaning, their value will be lost for the next cycle, thus we can't rely on their value. The FBs can store the variables on their static field. These variables will keep their value from cycle to cycle no matter what. The FBs have to have an instance data block attached to them when calling. The variables will be stored in these instance data blocks. If you are not sure whether to use FB or FC, always use an FB. Since DiaPortal v16 users have the possibility to develop their own add-ins using openness. When memory optimizing is important, or an FC should rather be an FB you can use TIA portal add-in called FBFC converter to convert an FC to an FB, or vice versa. I will put the link in the description. That's it for today. Thank you for listening to us. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new from it. If done so, please help our work by pressing the like button, and if you haven't yet please subscribe. Thank you, and see you next time.